Hey guys, welcome to the show. This is Gumdrop Readers, the channel where I read books to young kids. Today we're reading Super Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. I hope you guys enjoyed today's story. Okay, here we are on page one. A boy had a pet fly. The fly was named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Chapter one. One day, Fly Guy went to school with Buzz. Does fuzz was. Fly Guy learned about reading and phonics. He learned about art. Then it was lunchtime. Fly Guy loved the lunchroom. He loved the dirty dishes, and he loved the smelly mop. He also loved the garbage cans. Fly Guy met the lunch lady. Her name was Roz. No flies in the lunchroom, Roz says. Fly Guy said, Roz. This fly is smart, said Roz. He knows my name. She fed Fly Guy chicken bones and fish heads and sour milk. Fly Guy was happy. Chapter 2. Roz's boss was not so happy. The children cannot eat in a room full of flies, he said. You're fired. Roz was sad. Fly Guy was sad. Buzz and the children were sad because Roz was a good cook. The next day, Roz was gone. Miss Muzzle was the new lunch lady. She made burnt peas and turnips. No one in school ate lunch. Not even Fly Guy, who ate almost everything. Everyone missed Roz. Even the boss missed Roz. <laughs> that night, Buzz made a plan. Chapter 3. The next day, Fly Guy went to school again. In the lunchroom, Fly Guy said, Ms. Muzz. Miss Muzzle looked up. Fly Guy boinked her on the nose. Miss Muzzle cried, No flies in my lunchroom, you fly! She grabbed her swatter and swung, but she missed. Then missed again, she missed again, she missed again, she missed again! The boss was not happy. The children cannot eat in this mess, he said. You are fired. The next day, Roz was back. You are a super fly guy. Roz. Roz made a special garbage soup for super fly guy. Fly guy was very happy, and everyone was happy. The end. Well, that was Super Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out my podcast. All you have to do is search Gumdrop Readers on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or any of your other favorite listening platforms. If you'd like to choose the next book to be read on the Gumdrop Readers podcast or YouTube channel, you can send me an email, including your name, your age, and your book request. Ask an adult to be sent your email to gumdropreaders at gmail.com. Again, the podcast email is gumdropreaders at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time.